Hello everybody. Today in this class, let us learn in chapter three about metals and non-metals. Children, in our surrounding, we see a lot of metals and non-metals. They are used for various types of construction, for automobiles, to build certain vehicles, and etc. So on and so forth. Now, in your class nine, you have also learnt about various elements. So, in total, you are aware of about 114 elements. So, these elements can be classified under two categories. as metals and non metals so metals have also there are 92 metals which includes some metalloids now coming to non metals we know about 22 known non metals now to give you a few example of metals are copper aluminum iron magnesium uh, gold silver etc among the non metals we have carbon sulfur phosphorus nitrogen oxygen etc so let us think of some of the uses of metals and non metals in our day to day life now before we start analyzing their uses we must first know some of their physical properties so first we will consider metals and we will study their physical properties so physical properties of metals as i already told you they also include some 92 metalloids now let us study this and try to analyze their properties by seeing or doing a few activities now look at the slide the first activity is collect samples of some of